The economy of Greece is on the verge of collapse. The country says it will not make the $1.7 billion debt repayment to the International Monetary Fund. Instead, the Greek Interior Ministry decided on a referendum which will allow citizens to decide whether to accept agreement proposals by the creditors of the nation. But if Greece fails to make the payment, the country could be declared in default. Now the question confronting Greece and the world is this. Will the financial situation affect the rest of the world's economy? And what is the situation tonight in Greece? Joining us now via Skype from Athens, one of my old friends, Todd Anderson, an American businessman who chose an interesting time to visit Greece because he's been able to view this crisis over the past couple of days. Todd, over the past few days, and let, let me thank you too because as people are seeing this, it's very early in the morning in Greece, given the time difference with the United States. But you're wide awake to bring us your reaction to how the Greeks have reacted. What, what sticks most in your mind? Well, J.D., uh, we got here uh, last Thursday, and uh, really until tonight, it's been very calm. Most people from the States have texted and asked uh, about uh, what's going on here and expecting uh, a lot of uh, activity. And frankly, until tonight, it had been very calm. And uh, uh, I happened to go through the, uh, the square across from the parliament this evening, and there is a, a large crowd there, very, very uh, uh, peaceful gathering, I would say, a number of banners. And, and most of the banners uh, say, say no, um, and uh, OXI, OG, um, say no. And there's a number of chants uh, while we happen to be walking through the crowd there uh, to that effect. Um, I don't know if that uh, is, is an indication of uh, how the referendum might go or not, uh, but that was the, seemed to be the sentiment there this evening. Todd, uh, and uh, we took a look at some of the pictures you sent us earlier of what was happening in the square there by the Parliament building. You say that the, um, the demonstrations thus far have been peaceful, but I imagine the police are in place if this should take a turn toward the violent. Well, uh, we had a chance to walk through, uh, basically through the entire demonstration and saw very little police uh, presence. We've seen uh, police a police presence over the last few days uh, intermittently in the area, um, uh, actual police officers and with some riot gear and uh, some buses. Uh, but in walking through uh, this evening, there was not a real heavy police, uh, real heavy obvious police presence. Well, as, as you had a chance to, to visit with some of the Greeks on your visit there in Athens, what, what have they told you of the situation? Personally, what kind of impact is it, have they faced? Well, I, I, I've been curious, and I've asked a number of folks, uh, just the man on the street, and in some cases media uh, and, and others, um, and it's, it's just anecdotal, but uh, there really seems to be uh, an underlying patriotic theme, um, almost defiant as to, uh, regardless, I guess, of how the vote comes out or how the negotiations with the, uh, the, the economic community come out, uh, that uh, you know, the Greeks are, are proud, proud people and uh, they will survive. Uh, I, I haven't heard talk to anybody who is excited about the, the prospects of uh, not being part of the EU and going back to the drachma uh, at all. In fact, quite to the contrary. Um, but uh, again, it's a, a few data points, but uh, uh, people are very, very willing to talk about it when you ask them. And I wonder how the lines have been for the ATM machines, because what, the banks are closed for a week right now, and uh, mm -hmm. the Greek citizens can only take out daily, what, the equivalent of about 64 American dollars? That's the limit they have on their ATMs? Well, what I can speak to is that there are consistently uh, people and oftentimes lines of people uh, at ATM, almost every ATM you walk, in, walk up to. Uh, I happened to talk to some of the media here yesterday and they confirmed, I was watching the Prime Minister's uh, talk yesterday uh, talking about closing the banks. Banks are closed today, the doors are closed, but the ATMs are functioning. I'm not sure you'd have better information as to specifically what the cash limitations are, but um, uh, that's, I understand that is in effect. 
Todd Anderson, we hope that your stay in Greece is a tranquil one. We thank you for the <laughs> insights. We may have to come back to you if events warrant, but our thanks for staying up very early in the morning there in Greece to join us here on Newsmax Prime. Uh, it's been a really enjoyable time here in Greece, a great country, and uh, happy to do it anytime, JD. Thanks very much, Todd. So you hear Todd enjoying his time in Greece. Of course, when the Greeks don't have any money, they they might want to take advantage of what we got have what we have going. Newsmax wanting to send one lucky couple on a seven-day silver sea cruise to the Caribbean this winter. It's the trip of a lifetime, and to get signed up for it, here's what you do. Go to Newsmax.com slash sweepstakes. That's Newsmax.com slash sweepstakes.